angry guy here, and women are furious that men prefer foreign women. Women are furious that men prefer foreign women. Let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. Just when I thought I had seen it all, I came across this following video. I don't want to do anything for you. I was a guest on a YouTube live the other day, and as I was reading through the comments, I had seen following comment posted by a lady from the Philippines, which stated, foreign wives save lives. And to be honest with you, when I see women like in the video with that type of attitude and that type of statement and mindset, I can't even say nothing against the comment that was made by this woman from the Philippines. And don't come at me for that statement either. I didn't say it. She said it. But you know what? If you have so many women in Western countries with the mindset of the lady that I, was, that I showed in the clip, then I'm not even surprised that foreign wives actually do save lives. Speaking of comments, of course, there were some bird brain logic comments under that one particular post. Let's take a look at a few, shall we? Just an honest question. How many intruders have you men actually fought off? Now balance that against how many meals you expect to be cooked. A lot of y'all have no comprehension skills. She is a working woman. She wants a partner, not a child to raise. She is not talking about traditional relationships. Too many men are quick to comment without actually listening. Mm-hmm. I feel her. She wants a partner, not a dependent. Mm. I know, I know. These ladies must not be aware of their role in a relationship that women by nature are nurturing. So it doesn't even matter if you nurture a child or nurture your husband or even both in best case scenarios. But I'm not saying that men are children and need to be nurtured. I'm just speaking about the natural role of a woman in a relationship. I have said enough. Let's go right back to the video because friends, we have a lot to talk about. I don't want to cook for you. I don't want to clean for you. I don't want to be your secretary and set your appointments and chase you around and make you go because of your health. Actually, taking care of a man is really not that complicated because don't we all cook anyway? What's wrong with cooking some more food? I'm going to just give you some examples from my personal relationship with my husband. I used to be a vegetarian back in the day, so I know, I know, don't even. I had to cook two meals every, sec every day. It wasn't a problem. It was just something that had to be done. It had to be done, so I do it every single day. Speaking of hygiene, these women really do not understand how fulfilling it is when you actually welcome your man at home after a long day of work. I'm speaking from experience. This is just what women are supposed to do. Keep the house clean, welcome your spouse, you know, serve a plate of food. And these are like these valuable traditions that men are seeking for. Unfortunately, a lot of these values are getting lost in the Western countries. That's why it is so rare to actually find a woman still in the Western countries that you know still does these things. When my husband comes home from work, I provide everything. It doesn't matter. Whatever he needs, I ask him a day in advance, what do you want to eat? What does need to get done? It's all going to get done. Once you continuously practice that, a man will actually emotionally attach to you because he understands you care for him. Sad thing about this whole situation when it comes to the dynamics between American men and American women, some of them, not all of them, is the fact that women really don't care about men. They really don't care. Once you are in a relationship and you have actually made it so far to a point where you have created a bond amongst one another and once that man's peace and his mental health and his physical health becomes your health, Woman, I'm talking to the women, it's a whole different vibe. It's a whole different game because you would just conduct yourself in a different way. You would make appointments and phone calls for the man. You would cook him healthy meals. You would ask him if he's okay. You would actually genuinely care about how he's feeling. And you know what's the most beautiful thing about it? A lot of men don't open up toward, to a woman emotionally. But when that man actually gets to a point of trust when it comes to being with you, and he opens up to you emotionally. Honestly, and that is something so beautiful to achieve as a woman in a relationship when your man actually attaches to you emotionally. See, there are far too many women who think the only way to keep a man is with their looks. But what are you going to do once you get older? Once the movies are starting to hang? Once their BBL is not going to be up there anymore, you know? And 
That's not how it works, ladies. That is not how it works. It's a beautiful thing if you can actually provide something to your men that a lot of other women are not doing nowadays. These things are so simple. It doesn't take much to cook, to clean, to listen, to actually follow your man's lead. I have gotten so lazy. I'm not doing anything. That's okay, honey. That's okay. Because the less you do, the more women from other countries do. As that one lady said from the Philippines, foreign wives absolutely do save lives. And then there are men who will say, well, then what are you good for? What's the reason why someone should be with you? Huh? Huh? You're proving my point. You just want to be with somebody to do everything for you. Are you sure you are talking about everything or just the basic daily activities of a woman in a relationship? But that's the problem. A lot of women don't even identify as the woman in a relationship anymore because of the masculinity. They want to compete with their men instead of competing for their men. I don't even want a cat i don't even want a pet i have a plant i'll be a plant lady i will be happy i will not take care of a grown person i won't when i come home after a long day i don't want to cook either i don't want to do shit either why can't we flip a coin to see who cooks or if we order or we order food and then whoever cooks the other person cleans why can't you pick up after yourself a lot of women don't understand this men also learn by doing. So if you are in a relationship, and I'm going to tell you this from my personal experience with my husband, the first time when we lived together, of course I clean more than him. I'm the only person that does clean in the household. I do cook 99% of the time I cook. That 1% of the time that I wasn't able to cook is when I was sick and I really couldn't get up to cook, right? I literally have to be physically down in order for him to cook. And of course, I pick up more stuff, even after him. And that doesn't mean that he's taken advantage of me. That doesn't mean that, you know, he's dirty or anything. It's just that I am cleaner. I do more things in the household. But here's the thing about it. If you continuously do these things, ladies, the man will pay attention to that. And then he will start doing the things that you are doing. Meaning eventually that man is going to offer you to prepare the dinner table, breakfast table, to make you a cup of coffee or some tea, to actually help you doing household. You know, a lot of women don't get it. It's basically like following a trend. You know, a lot of you women out there know exactly what it means to follow a trend. Wearing those fake lashes, wearing those skimpy outfits, acting a certain way. And it's the same thing when it comes to the household and a man. That man will pick up on your trend of being clean, of being productive in the household, of liking what you are doing in the household. It's not like men don't want to help. It's just that a lot of you don't even let it get to that because the moment you step into a relationship with a man, you're like, hold up. I am the woman. This is my career and I am not going to cook for you. I'm not going to clean for you. I'm not going to make no phone calls for you. Don't disrespect me. Do whatever I'm asking you to do. Don't breathe too loud. Don't fart too hard. I don't like it. And then these women want to be put on the pedestal by a man or they want men to obey them. This is just a fact. It is too complicated for some American men to deal with some American ladies. That's why some American men are so flabbergasted when they actually meet a woman who is doing all of these things every day without expecting anything in return. Because why? That's just something we do by nature. That's why it was just so easy for me to impress my man without even trying to impress that man. You know, I came into his life and all I did was what I would usually do for my father. And this is what I mean. When you live in a traditional household and you have a father figure in the household and traditional values you have to follow, you would cook for a man. You would ask him what he wants to drink, ask him what he wants to eat. You would do his laundry. You would give him his slippers, all of these things. You would be respectful. You would be humble, soft-spoken, feminine, and cooperative. No interruptions, no talking back. And especially no cursing at the man. It's honestly all that men are asking for. That is not too much. So many women are out there trying to impress men with the same lame thing. And at the end of the day, all you have to offer is your looks. There are plenty of beautiful young ladies outside of the U.S. who would actually look good, be feminine, and do all of those things that you are not doing. That's why a lot of American guys are leaving the country. It's for a reason. And you know what? I totally understand. I'm not sitting here saying that women from other countries are better than some American women. Just you can do better too. 
If you have this type of attitude, just know that you will be alone forever. You may not feel sad about it now, but don't the majority of you want to have kids one day? Now, if you want to be a single mom and be cool with it, fine. Your choice, your decision, and the consequences you got to deal with. But if you really want to be in a healthy relationship one day, you got to stop trying to be the man of the household and be more comfortable with being the woman of the household. Now, there are so many people online who will teach you this. I would love to do the same. But unfortunately, there are not enough women who are actually willing to sit down and listen without calling me names and insulting me for the things that I say. Cool. Because last time I checked, no man is looking for a woman with a masculine attitude to be in a relationship with. These women are so hard to deal with. I have seen so many masculine women in America. It's the damn shame. Their voices, way too loud. The way they walk like bouncers. I'm telling you, they walk like bouncers. The amount of cursing that they do on the regular and the disrespect that men have to deal with. If I wouldn't have experienced it firsthand, I would not believe it. You can imagine how many times, this was when I was still in America, when I still lived there, how many times I was talking to my family members here in Germany and they would ask me, are these women arguing in the background? And I was like, no mom, they're just talking, they're just talking. Gentlemen, I genuinely wish you a lot of patience. And in case you are running out of patience, grab your passport and travel these countries because there are so many beautiful feminine women waiting for you. As you can see, the passport bro movement is growing for obvious reasons. You don't have to deal with whatever you have to deal with, okay? Life's too short, as I always say, and you better enjoy every single day. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment, leave a like. I love all of it. And other than that, stay tuned for some more content. Shout out to Soraya. Shout out to Soraya, always delivering the hits. Her speaking style is actually getting a lot better. I'm really impressed how much she's developing her voice. Guys, she made a, very, a lot of very good points. One point that I found really interesting was the concept of emotional attachment. A lot of men in Western society today will no longer emotionally attach themselves to a woman because they have learned not to do this. I constantly say that when men deal with women, they should expect the worst and hope for the best. And there are a lot of guys who say that, you know, they should expect the worst and hope for the best of the worst. <laughs> it's like, it's just absolutely that insane right now where there's no longer any trust in a relationship. Something that unfortunately Soraya probably doesn't comprehend is that American women, Western women and foreign women, they are not culturally the same. And because she knows that they're not culturally the same, but it's because of those cultural differences that they're not capable of essentially doing the things naturally that a foreign woman can do. Foreign women are raised to be wives, mothers, from the time that they are little girls, taking care of their fathers, their siblings. These are things that naturally translate over when they become women. When it comes to Western women, Western women don't know how to cook and clean. This is a big factor as a part of it. They don't know how to do these things. They don't do these things naturally. Even if they learn, it feels like servitude for them. It feels like pain and suffering for them. It's like pulling a tooth each and every single day for them because they have been mentally conditioned not to do these things. They have been conditioned to have food brought to them. They have been conditioned to have someone else clean for them. They have been conditioned to be provided for and never give anything in return because they are princesses and they deserve everything. In Western society, women are bailed out of every bad decision that they make. And as a result of that, they can never take accountability for anything that they say or do. They are literally told that they should be more assertive, more domineering, deeply in their masculine energy. They should learn how to talk over men. These behaviors have made it very miserable to even have a conversation with the average woman in Western society. So, yes, the idea that, well, if I'm going to prepare food for myself and I'm going to clean for myself, it's not really that much extra to do it for a man. But you need to comprehend women, foreign women need to understand that women in modern society, women in Western society, 
They can't do these things. If you look at what this woman was saying in the video, she was saying, why can't we order out? Yes, order out because she does not want to cook, even for herself. Even living by herself, she doesn't want to cook. A better way of going about it is literally saying, well, listen, how about this? You work, you work all day long, right? For example, here's what you bring to the relationship. You bring yourself to the relationship. I bring myself to the relationship. So how about this? 50-50. You pay for half, I pay for half. That's when they'll immediately go off and say that, well, if that's how you want it to be, that you're not a real man and blah, 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 blah. And that's how you catch them in their, in, in their nonsense. See, very simply put, men should not be marrying these women in the first place. They should be screening these women. They should know what they're about. Dudes are falling in head, falling in love, <laughs> falling in love with their little heads, not using their big ones. Talk about red flags, bro. You know, ask her, like, talk to her, like, you know, what, what are your favorite meals? Oh, yeah, do you like cooking? You know, I love cooking. Do you like cooking? You know, you need to listen. You need to, like, you know, and sometimes they'll lie to you. You have to, like, screen. You have to, like, watch their behavior, observe them. If a woman likes to cook, she's going to start cooking for you right away, okay? She's going to start cooking for you right away, and she's going to keep cooking for you until she, you put the ring, until you at least put the ring on her finger, all right? And, and re realistically speaking, you have to pay attention to her behavior. All right, this you know does she does she clean? Is she a clean person? When you go, if you ever go to her place, just because it's clean doesn't mean she's a clean person because you don't know who cleaned it. You don't know. A lot of these women have a cleaning lady, have an immigrant cleaning lady that comes in and cleans up for them. So don't trust them. What you have to do is you need to look in certain places. So I actually made a video about this about how to figure out if a woman is really clean and hygienic. And she talked about things like looking in her, looking in the woman's refrigerator, which is, a, which is a very, very good point. Looking in her refrigerator to see what's going on in her refrigerator. You know, looking in the bathroom, how she's keeping things together. There's different things. You have to screen these women. You have to observe them because they're sneaky. They're absolutely sneaky. And they're, they're you know, there's a, there was a, a show called How I Met Your Mother. I don't know if you guys remember that. Of course you do. And, you know, there's a character named Lily. Lily was one of my favorite characters until she broke Marshall's heart. And then she was she was nothing to me anymore. And the crazy thing is Lily would always say, where's the poo? And that's kind of how you have to look at it with women. All right. You should always be looking for the poo. You know, when you look at it, when you're dealing with a woman, you basically assume that everything that she says is a lie and then try to look for the truth in the lies rather than assuming that most of the things that she's saying is true and trying to find the lies in the truth for trying to find the truth, trying to find, yeah, trying to find the lies in the truth because that's what, that's how she's going to throw you off. Women today do not want men. They just want their bag. They want someone to provide for them and then they want to turn around and act like, you know, their presence is enough. OK, to, to be very honest, mo most women today do not like most men and the guys that they're getting into relationships with. These are the plan B guys, the guys that are six feet tall and make over one hundred thousand dollars a year. that have at least six inches and a six pack. Those are not the plan A guys. Those are not the plan S guys. Those are the plan B guys. Those are the plan beta guys. Those are the providers. Those are the beta male providers. OK, the men that she actually loves are the guys that are not marriageable. All right. Those are the Chaz and the Tyrones, the plan A guys. Those are the, the multimillionaires and billionaires, the very rich guys that have status and other and other things. All right, guys, what do you think regarding this? Women are furious and men prefer for, foreign women. I want to hear your thoughts about this in the comments. So let's talk about them there. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away, and cheers.